What's going on guys? This is Danny Summers with Intercept MMA. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys can, please hit like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. That way anytime we're putting out new videos, new content, new fight breakdowns, you guys can see it first. Catch. Hacking. All right, so now we're gonna be going into guys is faking the rear knee to kind of set up a combination, but more importantly, threatening while we're changing our lead moving forward. And what I mean by that, when Anna and I are both in front of each other, what she's gonna be looking to do is bring up a rear knee and she's bringing it up basically as high as her waist because when she's faking this knee, it should look like a technique that she's throwing. It should look like a knee, a teep kick, a snap kick, whatever the case may be. But me as a person in front of her, I should see that as a threat. I should see that as something I should be looking to defend or avoid. And when that happens, she's gonna look to change her lead and threaten right away to set up her next strike. What that strike is gonna be is a lead hook cross in the right lead as she changes. So if she was just kind of showing the knee on the outside, maybe she kind of picks it up, puts it back down, right? She's kind of showing it a little bit, just kind of making me think about it. But now once she starts to bring it up, she's gonna bring it right up that line and step right in with that three two. And one thing to keep in mind is when she steps up and puts it down, her foot goes outside my foot. That way she has that lead foot dominance. Notice, I'm lined up for her cross right now. That's where she wants to get into as far as position wise. If she faked that and stepped between my legs, well now she's in a bad spot. Now everything on my rear side is in position to fire. So again, foot position is gonna be important even after this fake. So once Anna gets to that point where she fakes that knee, she steps through, there's her hook cross. And most of the time that hook doesn't have to have as much on it because that foot is sometimes still in the air a little bit. But even just the threat of it is gonna get me to cover to line me up for that left hand. So again, she fakes that knee, boom, boom. And again, if you guys wanna to start to practice like, well, what happens when they back up? I can tell you right now, it's either gonna be a lead head kick or a rear head kick based on what this person feels. If Anna feels like the lead head kick is there, then as a feeder, once she kind of throws that, I'll just step back and then there's her lead head kick, right? But maybe when she steps, you know what, this guy is kind of leaning to this side every single time. So now once she kind of, boom, she just brings it at the same time and now she's attacking if I'm slipping to that side. So, the follow-up could be whatever you guys want it to be, but the lead change, there has to be a threat. I can't just change my lead in front of someone and expect nothing to happen or them to attack us, right? So we have to make sure we're threatening someone and then using that to set up those next two techniques and obviously following up from there once we get there. Give it a try. <laughs> 